What's up YouTube, Fishhawk here. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can make your own trout spinner. If you're like me, you normally go to Walmart, Bass Pro, Cabela, somewhere like that to buy trout spinners when you wanna go trout fishing. I decided that I wanted to start making my own trout spinner, so I went online, found a website, and purchased all the parts that I needed to make my own trout spinners. I thought it was something I'd really enjoy because I like making things and I love fishing. I also thought it was something I could take pride in to say, hey, I caught a fish on something that I made. I thought that'd be really cool. So what I wanna do is go over each of the parts that I have here to make a spinner, and then I wanna show you how I make a spinner. Let's get into it. What I'm gonna do is show you guys each of the parts, and then we'll get into building the spinner. The first part that I have is a four inch closed eye wire shaft. The second part is a wire clevis. This is a size two. The third part that I have is French blades, size one, smooth nickel. Fourth part, eighth inch hollow beads, nickel. The fifth part that I have is a lure body. They're white and silver, and they're one eighth of an ounce. The sixth part I have is stainless steel split rings, size one. Last but not least, size 10 Berkeley treble hooks. I also have some split ring pliers and a pack of pliers from Walmart. I found these in the craft section. These are really good for inline spinners. They have the regular needle nose, the round nose, needle nose, and the cutters. You definitely need these two. Um, you need these to cut the wire shaft and you need these to form the loops in the wire shaft. All right, now that I've went over all the parts, let's make a trot spinner. First thing you're gonna need is your wire shaft. Got the wire shaft. Second thing you're gonna need is the clevis. This thing is super tiny. Then you're gonna to wanna to get one of your spinner blades out. This is a French blade. It's kind of cupped. I'm not sure if you guys can tell or not. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the clevis and you wanna put the blade on the clevis. Once you got the blade on the clevis, you want to take your wire shaft and you want to put it through the clevis. Like that. If you're using a French blade like this, you want the you want the raised side out and you want the cup side, the indented side, you want that towards the spinner. You want the raised humped part out. So it looks like that. Next thing is the bead. You got your wire shaft and you got the clevis with the spinner blade on it and then you have a metal bead. The next thing you want is the lure body. This is the weight of your spinner. that. Wire shaft, clevis with a blade on it, then a bead, then your lure body. Spins nice and freely. After you have all that done, you want to get your pliers out. This is the trickiest part of making a spinner in my opinion. You got to form a loop down here to put your hook on. I got my round nose pliers out. They say to grab about an inch below the lure body to make your loop. I like doing just a little less than an inch just because I like the spinners to be a little shorter. So I'm gonna grab it right here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bend this wire around so there's the loop that I just made. These are really handy for making that nice round loop. If you use regular needle nose pliers, it'll be a weird shape. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna wrap it around this wire shaft right here.
So I wrap this wire around this wire, main wire shaft twice. Then all you have to do is cut off this excess wire. You want to cut it off as close as you can get. You don't want any tag in on that wire. Just like that. Then all you have to do is straighten this loop out a little bit if you want. You've got a nice loop up here at the top to tie your line onto. And you have a nice loop down here at the bottom to put your slit ring and treble hook on. Now that you have your loop on the bottom, you can go ahead and put your split ring on and your treble hook. If you don't want to use a split ring to put your treble hook on, you can put your treble hook on here before you form the loop. You can't get it on there after you make this loop. So if you don't want a split ring on this loop and then a treble hook, you put your treble hook on before you make this loop and then it'll be on there. I like the split ring because I can change out the hooks. If the hooks get dull or bent or something like that, you want to downsize or you need bigger hooks, you can change them out because you have a split ring. If you put them on here and you bend this wire up, you're not getting them back off. So that's why I got the split ring so that I could put the treble hook on the split ring and then the split ring on this loop and I can change treble hooks whenever I want. This part can be very tricky as well. You definitely want some split ring pliers. These are Rapala brand and I got these on Amazon for 10 bucks. This could be very hard to show you guys, but you just put the split ring in here. There's a little notch. You squeeze down on it and it separates that split ring so that you can work it on this loop. And once you get it on there, a lot of times you can just use your fingers to work that split ring around until it locks on. All right, we got our split ring on there. All that's left to do is put the treble hook on the split ring. These are some awesome hooks. These are the Berkley Fusion. They're super sharp and they're affordable. If you're looking for some good treble hooks, I would suggest Berkley Fusion treble hooks. I'm gonna grab the split ring again, open it up. And work the treble hook on there. There we go. That's all there is to it. Got your split ring, treble hook on the split ring. That's all there is to it. Very good looking spinner. Can't wait to catch some trout on it. I had a lot of fun making that trout spinner. Didn't take much time at all. If you guys are interested in making your own trout spinners, make sure you check out the website in my description. There's no paid promotion, no sponsorship, anything like that. It's just a good website that I found that I wanna share with you guys. They have a huge selection and a lot of high quality products. You can make any kind of spinner that you want. If you like MEPS, you like Rooster Tail, you like Panther Martin, you go on their website and you find the parts to replicate your favorite spinner. My favorite spinner is a Rooster Tail spinner. So I went on there and I found all the parts that I needed to make a replica of a Rooster Tail spinner. You can customize the blade however you want it. They have it in different shapes, size, and colors. Same with the bead and same with the lure body, all the way down to the hook. It's something that you can take pride in, catch fish on something that you made. I hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyable. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hawk out.